have redeemed us lord by your blood from every tribe and tongue and people and nation you have made us into a kingdom priests for our god hallelujah in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the lord be with you hallelujah christ is risen he is risen indeed hallelujah we offer this mass this morning in prayer for all those who teach in the schools of our land let us call to mind our sins lord jesus you raise us to new life lord have mercy lord jesus you forgive our sins christ have mercy lord jesus you feed us with the living bread lord have mercy may almighty god have mercy upon us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen let us pray O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer worthy prayer and ever to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One member of the Sanhedrin, a Pharisee called Gamaliel, who was a doctor of the law and respected by the whole people, stood up and asked to have the apostles taken outside for a time. Then he addressed the Sanhedrin. Men of Israel, be careful how you deal with these people. There was Thudas, who became notorious not so long ago he claimed to be someone important and he even collected about 400 followers but when he was killed all his followers scattered and that was the end of them and then there was judas the galilean at the time of the census who attracted crowds of supporters but he got killed too and all his followers dispersed. What I suggest, therefore, is that you leave these men alone and let them go. If this enterprise, this movement of theirs, is of human origin, it will break up of its own accord. But if it does in fact come from God, you will not only be unable to destroy them, but you might find yourselves fighting against God. His advice was accepted, and they had the apostles called in, gave orders for them to be flogged, warned them not to speak in the name of Jesus, and released them. And so they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, glad to have had the honour of suffering humiliation for the sake of the name. They preached every day, both in the temple and in private houses, and their proclamation of the good news of Christ Jesus was never interrupted. This is the word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, There is one thing I ask of the Lord, to live in the house of the Lord. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, to live in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? There is one thing I ask of the Lord, to live in the house of the Lord. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to savour the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, to live in the house of the Lord. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living, 
Hope in him. Hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, to live in the house of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went off to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, or of Tiberias, and a large crowd followed him, impressed by the signs he gave by curing the sick. Jesus climbed the hillside and sat there with his disciples. It was shortly before the Jewish feast of Passover. Looking up, Jesus saw the crowds approaching and said to Philip, Where can we buy some bread for these people to eat? He only said this to test Philip. He himself knew exactly what he was going to do. Philip answered, Two hundred denarii would only buy enough to give them each a small piece. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said, There is a small boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what is that between so many? Jesus said to them, Make the people sit down. There was plenty of grass there, and as many as five thousand men sat down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and gave them out to all who were sitting ready. He then did the same with the fish, giving out as much as they wanted. When they had eaten enough, he said to the disciples, Pick up the pieces left over, so that nothing gets wasted. So they picked them up and filled twelve hampers with scraps left over from the meal of five barley loaves. The people, seeing this sign that he had given, said, This really is the prophet who is to come into the world. Jesus, who could see they were about to come and take him by force and make him king, escaped back to the hills by himself. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray. This morning let us pray for school teachers everywhere as they try to find new ways to teach the children entrusted to them as they learn new skills for online teaching and working. We give thanks for their imagination and their commitment. We pray that God's Holy Spirit will rest upon them and guide them in their work as they try to continue to educate the children of the land even in the face of huge challenge. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let me pray for those who are in particular need of our prayers today. For all those who are going to work, frightened for their own safety, all whose work brings them into close contact with others each day. We give thanks for the dedication of all the key workers who are continuing to make society operate. And we 
pray that they may be blessed in their lives and know the presence of God with them in their work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are sick. Among those known to us, we're asked today to pray for six-month-old Miles, recently diagnosed with leukemia, Continue to pray for Andrew in hospital. Pray for all those suffering from COVID-19 in hospital, in care homes, and in their own homes. ask that all those who suffer at this time will know the presence of the Lord and his abiding love in their hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's pray for the souls of those who have departed this life. Among them, for the soul of David Johnson, priest, who has died recently. For all those who died yesterday from COVID-19. For those whose anniversaries of death fall near this time. Rest eternal ground unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. And now let us join together in praying for our parishes. God our Father, through your Holy Spirit, you grow your church as we proclaim the kingdom of your risen Son. Bless us with deepening faith and an increase in our community. Help us to be a beacon of your love to everyone we meet. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, and so may the peace of the risen Lord be always with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good 
and the good of all his church. Lord, accept these gifts from your family. May we hold fast to the life you have given us and come to the eternal gifts you promise. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We praise you with greater joy than ever in this Easter season when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. He is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. And so, with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, St. Luke, St. James, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, watch over those you have saved in Christ. May we who are redeemed by his suffering and death always rejoice in his resurrection. For he is Lord for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia.
Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven. Alleluia. He whom thou wast meet to bear. Alleluia. As he promised, hath arisen. Alleluia. Pour for us to God thy prayer. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ, has brought joy to the whole world, grant that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of life everlasting, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. 